Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and uh, today I'm doing a review of a guitar I've been looking forward to review. Uh, it's the Squire Classic Vibe 50s Stratocaster. Yeah, so, well, let's go. Uh, the tuners are uh, classic style, since this is a classic vibe guitar. And, uh, well, they are doing a good job at mimicking the classic uh, styled clues and tuners. Uh, I'm, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, uh, I'm not very fond of these kind of tuners. Uh, uh, there are some upgrades. The classic vibe series from Squire is uh, like classic guitars in the, this is a 50s guitar. But it has upgrades. And uh, why not upgrade the tuners? I don't know. Because it seems to be more about the looks. Or maybe you can make tuners that are new that looks like the old ones. I don't know. Because this has... Uh, the new new tuners you have, that when you turn them, um, they are more precise. And it takes more turns on them to get... Uh, I mean, more turns here equals less turns here, uh, and that makes them more precise and accurate. And yeah, please. Uh, and then we have a one-piece maple neck, and um, yeah, the fretboard is where it's. Uh, modernized you can say uh, it has a nine and a half inch uh, radius that's flatter than the original and there has medium jumbo frets and that's also an upgrade um, since the original had smaller frets we have uh, all the body and uh, yeah the regular stuff Three single coil pickups, uh, traditional style uh, Les Paul vibrato and volume and neck tone and middle pickup tone. And a five-way switch and an output jack and that's it. So materials and hardware gets an eight. Um, yeah, build quality durability. Uh, I should say something about the, the woods. Let's start with the body. We have an alder body and well, that's nice because alder is uh, the kind of wood that they made and still are making original uh, Stratocasters of. And uh, it's rather light and it looks really good. This has a two-tone sunburst, uh, again, 250 spec and looks very nice. You can see the wood through it, and um, I had a hard time finding. I thought it was a one piece all about it, but I managed to find the where they joined them in the back. Actually, you can't see it in the front, so it's very well done. It looks beautiful, and as I said, it's rather light, so and resonant. Uh, the neck is a one piece maple neck, and uh, usually you have like the back side, the neck part is one piece of wood and then you have the fretboard that's one piece of wood and you glue them together. Uh, but originally they made them like this at Fender, just one piece. And uh, it has its pros and cons because uh, if you have two pieces of wood you can have them uh, with different grain structures so they interact with each other and uh, make the neck more stable but on the other hand if you have a one piece then you don't have that much glue and glue kills tone believe me it does and that's why i'm not fond of set, set neck guitars i like bolton guitars there's no glue there killing the tone and uh, with this one piece maple neck, I think it really works. Uh, there is really something happening that doesn't happen when it's separate fingerboard and neck. So it's a nice feature. And the, the wood on this particular guitar is stunning. 
Uh, I've seen several uh, of these models and they don't all look like this. So if you're lucky, you'll find one. It's got all these grains and patterns in it. It looks wonderful. Um, the frets are really good and uh, the frettons are perfect and they are polished and um, yeah, the neck is also very polished. It's a high gloss neck and this uh, is not a common thing these days. Everyone seems to be tilting towards uh, satin finish or natural wood finish feel uh, neck. But I actually like this. Maybe it's because I've gone used to all these satin finishes. Now this is a new thing. And I don't know. It seems to... I think it does something to the tone. There's something more bell-like ringing thing going on. I think it has to do with the finish of it, actually. I think it affects it. Uh, as I said, the body is very nice. Um, and uh, the things on the pick card is really tidy and good. I'll get to electronics later. But the actual pick card, it's the only thing that actually makes you notice. Because if you were at a distance, you would never know this was a Squire guitar. It looks that good. Uh, but the pick guard, it's uh, not very nice. It's not cut nice, and it's all the screws in it are. They haven't paid any attention to detail here. They are pointing in all different directions. And that's a sad thing because other than that, the guitar looks just so. Uh, I don't know. It's so high quality. Otherwise, so they should fire the one that assembles the pick cards and um, yeah and that's about it you have a standard vibrato and it's high quality stuff so build quality durability eight playability as i said i like this i actually like this gloss neck the neck in itself is rather slim and yeah it's easy to get around. And yeah. To me, there's nothing hindering me. It's 21 frets, so it doesn't get that high. Yeah, and the medium jumbo frets, they're all polished and I don't know. Yeah, it's good. What else can I say? Playability of nine. Uh, electronics. Um, yeah. You have three custom uh, classic single coils and uh, yeah, the regular stuff, as I said. Volume, two tones and a five-way switch and output jack. Well, I give it a 10. There's nothing bad to say about it. It really works. The tone knobs work and the volume knobs. It's like they have this... They feel very, I don't know, solid and high quality. Okay, let's listen to it. And... Uh, as usual, when the tone knobs work, I use them, so I've turned down the tone knob for the neck pickup just a tiny bit. And I'll go all through the pickup combinations from the bridge pickup all the way to the neck. Yeah, here's a clean sound. <laughs>
some overdrive. And some high gain lead.
Yeah, couldn't stop playing. Sounds, it gets a nine. Um, yeah, the, I, the, this has a really good pickups. It sounds, it sounds just like a strat should. And I'm a strat head, so I should know. Um, yeah, they have this. They are high, rather high output for being single coils, and they are not very classic in that sense. But it feels like an upgraded Strat, um, and they have a very nice sound to them. So yeah. I like them, and you get all the different nuances in the positions, and uh, yeah, yeah, it does everything a strat should. And uh, so, uh, all in all, it gets an 8.8, .8, a very high number, and it deserves it. It's a very good guitar. If you want a strat, and yeah, you don't want to spend thousands of dollars or euros or pounds. Um, this could be the way to go, because, well, apart from me not liking the tuners, you might like them. Um, there is really nothing to upgrade. This is a great guitar, as it is. So, yeah, I really recommend you buying this guitar. Don't hesitate. and Try it out. I've tried several, actually, several guitars uh, of this range. Uh, the classic vibe 50s and they were all good so they seem to have a very high uh, and uh, even quality actually so yeah this has been the swedish guitar nerd reviewing the squire classic vibe 50s stratocaster see you soon bye